Well, hello, Saul Church and everybody else who's watching. Uh, my name is uh, Chris Knight. I'm the pastor of Saul Church here in uh, Spain uh, on the Costa Blanca. We're doing a series of encouragements and a number of people from our congregation are giving short messages. And I'd like to introduce to you David Rhodes, who's currently in the UK. He's an associate member of Salt Church, and he's going to give us uh, an encouraging word about the fruit of the Spirit, patience. Normally at this time, Eileen and I would be with you all in Spain, enjoying fellowship and life. I want to encourage you um, today, because one of the fruits of the Spirit in Galatians 5.22 is patience. Sometimes I'm not patient, and especially through this lockdown. Normally I plan everything, and I'm known in my family as dad, granddad. What are you doing in six months time? God is showing me I cannot control things out of my control. Patience is the capacity to accept and tolerate delay. Patience in the Bible is forbearance or endurance and is closely related to mercy and compassion. For those who are suffering, and many are, God promises it will produce endurance, character and hope. Romans 5, 3 to 5. Abraham and Sarah in the Bible, in Genesis 15 and 17, had patience. God had promised they would have a child. However, it was not until Abraham was 100 years old and Sarah was 99 that God's promises were fulfilled. Job a well-known saying, the patience of Job. Job in the Bible had long-term suffering. Job had patience to continue trusting God that he would give him answers to all his trials, and he did. Jesus had patience with his disciples, teaching them truths about why he came and the kingdom of God when they just didn't get it. When we go through times of testing, as we all now are, we often do not see why God allowed it to happen until later. So be encouraged. Patience does entail testing and suffering. We seek God's intervention instead of our own. God blesses us and shows us at some point how he uses it for our own good and especially for his glory. And finally, in Hebrews 13 verse 5, I will never, never fail you nor forsake you. Adios from Weatherby, UK.